Alright guys, today we're taking a look at a new rogue called Antivirus System. I'm not sure exactly what it's a clone of, but it shares a lot of the similar traits of the other fake antiviruses we look at. And as you can see, as soon as we start our, our XP computer, we are greeted with a firewall alert. Where we are blocking literally every executable we have. So we'll just stay unprotected for now. And that opens up the fake antivirus. It looks pretty simple, but, you know, it's not like the, whatever, the visual basic rogues that we've seen a lot, but I've never made a video on. Can I scan my computer or update database? And the updater works, but it doesn't actually download anything. It doesn't tell you you need to buy this to download updates. You have internet security, personal security, proactive defense, firewall, and some settings. If we go to the system scanner, scan my computer. We have, let's see, four infections so far. Not too bad. We'll just let that run for a moment. Okay, so now we're getting a alert on the bottom here telling me vulnerabilities were found and how I need to activate this fake antivirus. So we'll go ahead and do that. The problem is you have to wait for this message to go all the way back down. And then it opens this. So we'll purchase now. Yeah, we'll display non-secure items. Uh, one year license, eighty nine ninety five. Six months, seventy nine ninety five. Well, who would ever get that? You obviously gonna go with the year license, and get the VIP support and the lifetime premium support, twenty four seven recommended. So you put in all your info here, and gets a little bit interesting. Uh, it says PayPal, but you can only choose the Visa, Mastercard, or American Express. And then you place your order. But there is some stuff here on the right hand side. Let's see what it talks about. It says something called feedback from clients. From Ricky. R I C C K E Y. It's an interesting spelling. What Enviro Search really do is try get the right cultural fit. And that's way more important than just ticking the technical boxes. Ricky. And then under that it says giving back. What Enviro Search really do is try get the right cultural fit and you know the rest. I don't understand what that means exactly. I've never heard of Enviro Search as an environment and search. And as you can see here, I'm assuming they're supposed to be donating money to all of these charitable organizations here, but it's talking about EnviroSearch or something, I don't understand. We'll move on. Close that. And as you saw at the beginning of the video, it blocks pretty much everything. Is it really going to let me open Solitaire? What the hell is going on? Hmm. Seems to have locked up or something. Okay. Don't really care about that. Hmm. Well, normally we would get that uh, pop up message saying that it's something to do with the firewall and it's blocking it and you have to activate. But I'm not getting any messages at all, which is strange. Oh, there we go. There's something. Unknown program, scanning my computer, ignore. We have to wait for it to go all the way back down. Try. I was hoping that we would see something, but 
No, it's not really necessary. The point is, is that it's pretty much broken exe files in the registry. And to be able to run anything like Malwarebytes or Combo Fix or whatever, we're going to need to fix that first. So, for removal, you're going to have to do a little bit of registry editing. I hope that's not a big deal, but I'm going to show you how to do it. So, first thing you're going to want to do is boot into safe mode with command prompt. And I've got a link in the description to do that if the video isn't clear enough, because it probably has a jump cut somewhere. So. First thing we're going to do is go ahead and just reboot. Now we're going to start hitting F8. And we'll go to safe mode with command prompt. Alright, we have our command prompt window. We'll go ahead and run reg edit. Go to H key classes root. And then we will scroll down to exe. What we're going to want to do is just go ahead and delete this default icon key and the shell key. We're going to want to go over here and you'll see that these two values have changed. This is supposed to be exe file and this is supposed to be xm something. I have it written down. So we'll just go ahead and edit this first one to say exe file. So we can run executables and then this is ms download. And I will post the, you know, exact key and all that in the description, so you don't have to follow along with this if you don't want to. Persistent handler, we leave that the same. Alright, so now that we have our registry edited, let's go ahead and open up Explorer. It says we're running in safe mode, we'll just go ahead and close that for now. On the desktop, we'll go ahead and run msconfig. Go ahead and go to startup. You'll have some key like antivirus. It may have a different name or something, but just go ahead and uncheck it for now. I don't believe it has a service of any type. And we're going to be booting back into safe mode. And if you want to do it just automatically without doing all the F8 business, you just go to boot.ini in the uh, system configuration utility. Go ahead and check uh, safe boot, go to network, and apply. Close, and then we will restart. And we are back into safe mode with networking. We're going to be downloading Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Uh, we've taken care of pretty much everything, so, uh, you know, this is going to be pretty easy. As always, link in the description. I know I've said it plenty of times, but I really hate seeing it. Just go ahead and save the executable. All right. 
right, run it. Go ahead and uncheck free trial, click finish. Alright, just go ahead and do a quick scan. That'll be plenty if we can see the button for it. Ah, there it is. Quick scan. And we will wait for this to finish. Alright, so our scan has completed. We'll go ahead and click OK. Go to Show Results. And there's all our stuff. We'll go ahead and just remove selected. Close the log. And it wants us to restart. We will do one short thing before that. Reopen MS config. Boot.ini. Uncheck that safe boot. Apply. Close. Exit without restart. And then click yes. And that will uh, wrap up this video on antivirus system. I didn't mean for it to take a whole month to make another video, but uh, just really busy and, you know, there's not a lot of material to work with here. So, hopefully some more videos in the future soon. Uh, definitely more frequent. I'm hoping for. I can't promise that, but really would like to make videos more frequently. And... Thank you very much for watching.